Congratulations on your purchase of the Kingston Iron Key Keypad 200. Be sure to check out the Quick Start Guide to learn how to set up your user and admin pin. If, during the initial setup, you chose to create an admin pin, once you unlock your drive with that pin, it will delete the user pin you previously set up. To unlock the KP200 using the admin pin, press and hold down the 1 button and press the key button once. Once the red and green LEDs start blinking together, you can proceed to enter your admin pin. Once you're finished entering your pin, press the key button once to unlock your drive. Then, to create or change your user pin while unlocked in admin mode, press the key button twice, then enter your new user pin. Your user pin must be between 8 to 15 digits or characters, not contain only repetitive numbers such as 3333333, and not contain only consecutive numbers such as 12345678. Press the key button twice and the blinking blue LED will switch to a blinking green LED. Then re-enter the user pin and press the key button twice more to confirm and save. Now that your user pin is set up, you can use it to unlock and access your drive for daily use. If in the event that the user and admin pins have been forgotten, you will need to reset your KP200 and create new pins. This should be a last resort since doing so will completely wipe all data stored on your drive. To reset the KP200, while you press and hold down the 7 button, press the key button, then release both at the same time. The red and green LEDs will alternate on and off. Next press the 9 button 3 times, followed by pressing and holding down the 7 button, and pressing the key button, then releasing both at the same time again. The blinking LEDs will switch to solid before the green LED turns off while the red LED fades out. A beneficial security feature of the KP200 is its brute force hacking detection, which will trigger data and pin information deletion after 10 consecutive incorrect login attempts depending on how the drive is set up. You can check the KP200 user manual for more detailed information on this feature. In the event of a brute force attack or a drive reset, it is necessary to create a new user pin. You can do this by pressing the key button once to begin. Then, when the LEDs are solid red and blinking green, Press the key button two more times and enter your new user pin. Just like with your initial setup, your user pin must be between 8 to 15 digits or characters and not contain only repetitive numbers such as 3333333. Once entered, press the key button twice, re enter your new user pin, and press the key button two more times to confirm. You can also enable read-only mode for your KP200 by unlocking your drive with your pin, then pressing the key button three times. Once the solid green LED switches to blinking green and blue, press the 7 and then the 6 followed by the key button to save. The green and blue blinking LEDs will change to a solid red before a solid green, which signifies you have enabled read-only mode successfully. If you have read-only mode enabled and would like to return to read-write mode, you will need to follow the same previous steps by unlocking your drive with your pin, then pressing the key button three times. But this time, once the solid green LED switches to a blinking green and blue, press the seven followed by the nine button. Press the key button once to save. We want you to get the most out of your KP200, so we hope this walkthrough has been helpful. For more information or troubleshooting tips, please visit support.kingston.com.